Hello friends, this is Maria and I'm coming to you with a video on how I do my keto friendly eggplant parmesan. Now I'm going to first start off with an eggplant that's about a pound and a half to two pounds in weight and I'm going to slice those in quarter inch uh, rounds. Now I apologize for the focus, it will get better here in about 10 seconds. Now once um, I have all my slices and you can see I get quite a few, this is perfect for a big family style meal or if you wish to do a big batch of eggplant parmesan you can eat some now now and they freeze well for later. I also have a sheet pan here that is lined with a paper towel and I'm going to place the eggplant rounds on the paper towel and I'm going to sprinkle some kosher salt on top. This will help draw out all the extra moisture that are in the eggplant. You'll be surprised how much water will come out of the eggplant and this is, uh, helps to ensure that you're going to get a crispy um, eggplant parmesan and not something that's full of water when you bake it. And here you can see how much salt I actually put on the eggplant rounds. Now while that's sitting for 30 minutes, I am going to start on with a Dutch oven with a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to put some onions in there and some minced garlic. And we're going to start on a marinara sauce. Now you want to put them in uh, a medium heat uh, Dutch oven and saute them until they're uh, translucent. And then we're going to add some cherry tomatoes. Now you could use any type of uh, tomato product. These were was on sale, so this is what I'm going to use. And they're Italian cherry tomatoes, so I thought it would go uh, very well with the eggplant parmesan. Now, once they're all in your um, in your pot, uh, you want them to cook on medium high heat for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes. And I'm just using a potato masher to get all that uh, broken up in the pot a little bit. Now, 30 minutes has gone by. You can see how much water has come off of these eggplants, and we're going to start the standard breading procedure. Over here, I have my almond flour uh, and then I have some egg wash and then Parmesan cheese with some Italian seasoning in it and um what we're gonna do is we're gonna start going from uh, right to left. So you're gonna first put your almond flour, then your egg wash, and then your Parmesan cheese, and then put them uh, along uh, the side on some parchment paper. And you're just gonna continue to do that until all of them are coated. And um, this is the standard breading procedure that you would use. And if you don't want this a keto friendly, you want to just regular eggplant Parmesan, you would substitute the first um, uh, almond flour with regular all purpose flour or whatever type of flour you wish to use. And once they're all breaded, we are going to put them on a single layer on a sheet pan and bake them at uh, 375 for about 25 to 35 minutes, depending on your stove, because everyone's stove is different. Now we are done breading all of the eggplant. I'm gonna take my leftover Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle that on top. Uh, and I just don't like to waste any of the cheese. So I wanna make sure I use all that up. Now that they're all breaded and ready to go into the oven, um, we're gonna set our timer for 15 minutes and we're gonna pull them out and this is what they look like, nice and golden brown. And then we're gonna flip them over to the other side and put them back in for another 15 to 20 minutes, or 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your stove. And this is what they look like when they're all all done um, very nice and crisp uh, not soggy they're gonna be so good with our fresh marinara sauce which has been cooking for about 45 minutes and um, here I have it served just over fresh spinach with some fresh marinara sauce on top topped with Parmesan cheese now I'm gonna link all of the recipe information below and please let me know if you have any questions or let me know if you've tried the recipe and if you enjoyed it thanks bye